Less than 10% of companies conduct regular win-loss reviews. Are you part of the 10%? When I first read this statistic four years ago, the number was even lower. At that time, only 5% of companies were consistently engaging with their customers to review their winning and losing transactions. I've spent many hours researching, debating, and pondering this question, and I keep coming back to one simple, if slightly confronting reason. As humans, we instinctively want to avoid awkward conversations. Whether it's relationship breakup, or admitting it was you who dropped the urn with your grandmother's ashes in it, we'll do anything in our power to avoid an awkward conversation and the risk of offending someone. So, when it comes to understanding why we won or lost a piece of business, we either avoid the conversation completely, or we get it over with as quickly as humanly possible, and then we spend the rest of the day trying to get rid of that icky feeling. It can be just as tough for our customers. We've spent weeks or months supporting them through an evaluation process, only to discover they've selected another vendor. They have no desire to hurt our feelings or make us feel any worse than we already do when telling us we've lost a piece of business. So what do they do? They prevaricate, they provide half-hearted excuses, which only bear a passing resemblance to their real decision-making criteria. They do this to protect our feelings and avoid an unpleasant scene. So where does that leave us? How can we really start to learn from these experiences? How can we aggregate the good, the bad, and the ugly pieces of competitive intelligence from each sales cycle and ensure that we never make the same mistake twice? My advice, and I'll be the first to admit that this is not unbiased, is for high value or strategic deals, bring in a third party. Someone who can be impartial can remove the emotion from the situation and extract candid and actionable feedback. Make a commitment that you won't lose again in the same way for the same reason and focus on getting to the heart of what really happened. When you get the feedback, no matter how confronting or unpalatable it is, don't point the finger of blame. Focus on ways to improve and refine your sales process for the next deal. Become the type of company that refuses to walk away from a deal without something of value. Recognize the nuggets of sales intelligence gold which sit in every one of your deals, and don't leave them behind at the end of the sale. You may have guessed by now, I'm really quite passionate about the value which win-loss can bring to an organization. If you'd like to win more of your pitches or you'd like to find out more, head to our website, click on the customer case study videos. You can drop us a note or give us a call to schedule in some time for a more in-depth discussion. Mm -hmm.